that victory, the second place Pelicans in the Western Conference have improved to 16 and eight, recording their best franchise start since the Chris Paul era 14 years ago. And behind the franchise face, you saw there with a game high, Trey Murphy, a career high five dimes, one of four in double figures, scoring along Najee Marshall with 17 off the bench. That's four shy of a season high for him as he dropped back in Phoenix back in October. Fitting, they welcome in the Suns next as they extend their winning streak to five games, first time since the 2017-2018 season. Eight Eight games above 500 now, and I cannot celebrate enough the depth of this squad. Every night, someone new coming alive, stepping up, and leading the way. And this team genuinely celebrating that as well as one another um, because they are thinking big picture, I'll tell you. They're thinking winning. And what will it take to win? Who will it take to win? They are behind it every step of the way. Tonight, it's a six-pointer over the second to last place in the Eastern Conference in the Detroit Pistons, a, a team that could have very well been a trap game, as we discussed in tonight's pregame, as David Wesley well knows as we welcome him in from the Smoothie King Center. Uh, but tonight, Zion, Trey, JV with his 10th double-double, and Najee off the bench taking care of business yet again five-game win streak for the first time since that magical run into the playoffs in 2018, David. Again, avoiding that trap game. How fun was that for you to watch sideline? Well, it was fun and a little bit scary, but, you know, it's 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 it doesn't matter how you win. You just want to come out here. You want to find a way. And different guys stepped up. That We talk about the depth of this team all the time. Somebody always seems to step up. Najee Marshall had was on the job tonight. Um, they lost another guy and Jose going down, but that just doesn't stop this team. And that's what you love about this team. They rally behind each other. They figure out a way. They play hard to the end. And you got to give that Detroit team some credit. Coming off a back-to-back -back win uh, in Miami and come out and put this kind of effort up, they, 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 they are at least giving themselves a chance. No doubt about it. And as we joked, we didn't mention Zion until the B block on Sunday because of Jose and Billy and Trey and whatnot. But tonight, we're going to lead with the franchise face with a game high um, tonight. 29, David, on 11 of 16 shooting, 10 boards, so a double-double for him. He clearly came in with a mission tonight. What did you see from him, sideline? Well, I, I like him going to get rebounds, not rebounds coming to him. I like his defense and his second effort plays like that. That's a rebound maybe a year ago he or two years ago he doesn't get because he doesn't go crash. Tonight he was crashing the boards. I like the five assists. That means he's getting other people involved, getting people the basketball where they need it. Uh, you expect him to come out here and dominate. There's no one who can guard him. He was a mismatch all night long. So very nice game put together by him. But you like the 10 rebounds and the five assists. I like that you mentioned the dimes as well. And I